Hey guys, welcome to Excel Tutorial Channel and another episode of Text Functions in Excel. So we have covered the overview, count words, and we have covered the change cases. And in this video, we are gonna compare two set of text values in Excel. So we will cover this with the help of the traditional method and with the help of exact function and we will also learn the little tool which is inbuilt in excel which is the find and select to to help us to compare two or three different columns in excel so if you haven't subscribed to the channel please go ahead because we're gonna cover each and every functionality of excel in detail so let's get started so this is the very basic sheet here and we have covered these these particular values in the separate strings change cases so we have this name as you can see we have the uppercase and lowercase problem here and somewhere you can see the potter is potter here and how to counter this and in the traditional way what we do is this is equal to this so let's see so which is true right and if we just apply to all so we have the in case of case insensitive we will use the simple traditional method which is the a2 is equal to b2 and we get this and then which is nice which is true we can also convert this to the proper cases with the help of proper function but if you just want to compare if this particular cell is equal to this you can use the traditional but if your workaround demands the case sensitive part you can use the exact function so how you can use that just exact so we have the two arguments here and this particular function is limited to two column only okay or two values only so here we go for the text one part is this and for the text two part is this and we enter this and we have got the false which is true in case of the exact functions workaround because exact function is case sensitive so if you apply to all as you can see this is also the false so this is the false which is Obviously, the border is not equal to the border, and Akhtar does also have the case sensitive case. So here it's also equal to false. But if you want to, you know, wrap this not in the terms of true or false, which function you can use? If you are a follower of my channel, you know which function we can use. We can use the if function here. So the logical test will be this: if it's true or false. The value if true is yes and the value if false is no and click here there you go you got the values so that's how you can wrap these but default values of true or false into your own set of text here okay so now you may be wondering these are just the two set of here okay if I write the like here nor me like this and you know just edit this particular and the nancy will be nancy here and rima is rima and portal let's say pottery just for the example part okay so to compare these particular cells okay so let me just copy and paste here the same so if you want to compare two or three rows or columns then how you can do that there is a functionality in or you can say the option in inbuilt in Excel which is the find and select if you haven't watched that video please go ahead because I have covered the find and select in the detail so if I just select this and go to the home and under the editing part here the find and select go to the go to special window and this go to special window will be open and I've covered the each and detail functionality of this particular window which is very useful you should go ahead now here you have two differences here the row differences the row differences will be covered like this okay the column will be this which is very straightforward as you may know right now so we need to compare like this okay and to compare like this we will use the row differences and click ok so it will highlight these particular values which is not equal to each other or you know which is different from the particular first cell so they have highlighted this the potter pottery normy normy because norm is not equal to could not be right and yes this is also the case insensitive so these particular values will be regarded as true 
and if you need the case sensitivity part then you can use the exact function hope you get to know how we can compare text in excel so if you have the load of sentences go ahead play with this particular worksheet if you want this worksheet you can download by clicking the link below so if you found this helpful please click the like button if you have questions in mind you have all the comment box with you you can ask and one of my colleague will help you to answer and if you want to share it to your colleague you can also share it and you can also subscribe to our channel and don't forget to log on to exceltutorial.net where we have uploaded each and every video in detail about excel and we will keep on updating that website so do join that see you in the next video until then bye bye